Hey there, science fans. Welcome to another exciting journey into the world of science. Have you ever noticed how the weather changes throughout the year? It's pretty amazing, right? We have hot summers where we can go swimming and eat ice cream, and cold winters where we can build snowmen and drink hot cocoa. That's what we call weather, the changes we see every day. But what about climate? How is it different from weather? Climate is the average weather in a place over a long time, like 30 years. It's like looking at the big picture of weather. It's like the personality of a place. Just like people have different personalities, different places have different climates. Some places are usually hot and dry, like deserts, while others are cool and rainy, like forests. Now imagine the Earth's climate is like a giant puzzle. Each piece is important and fits together to make the whole picture. Each piece of the puzzle represents a different part of our climate, like temperature, rainfall, and wind. These elements work together to create the climate we experience. Climate change happens when these puzzle pieces start to shift and change over a very long time. It's a slow process, but it has big effects. It's like someone is slowly rearranging the puzzle and that changes the whole picture. The landscapes we know and love can start to look very different. These changes in our climate are happening because of things people are doing, like burning too much oil and gas in our cars and factories. This adds up over time. This releases harmful gases into the air, which act like a thick blanket around the earth, trapping heat from the sun. This is known as the greenhouse effect. Climate change is a big deal, but guess what? We have the power to make a difference. We can do something about it. Simple actions like planting trees, recycling, and using less energy can help. By understanding climate change, we can all become superheroes for our planet. Knowledge is our superpower. Are you ready to learn more? Let's go on this adventure together and discover how we can protect our Earth. Remember how we talked about the Earth's climate being like a puzzle? Each piece of the puzzle represents a different part of our planet's climate system, and they all fit together to create the bigger picture. Well, imagine the Earth has a cozy blanket wrapped around it. This blanket helps to keep our planet warm and comfortable. This blanket is called the atmosphere, and it's made up of different gases. These gases form layers around the Earth, protecting us and regulating the temperature. Some of these gases, called greenhouse gases, act like a real blanket, trapping heat from the sun and keeping our planet warm enough to live on. They include carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. This is a good thing because, without the greenhouse effect, Earth would be freezing cold. It would be too cold for humans, animals, and plants to survive. Think of it like this. Imagine you're sitting in a car on a sunny day. The sun's rays come through the windows and warm up the car's interior. The sun's rays warm up the car, and the windows trap the heat inside, making it nice and toasty. This is similar to how greenhouse gases trap heat in our atmosphere. The greenhouse gases in our atmosphere work similarly, trapping some of the sun's heat and keeping Earth at a comfortable temperature. This balance is crucial for life on Earth. But here's the problem. We're making the Earth's blanket too thick. This extra thickness is not natural and disrupts the balance. When we burn too much fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, we release more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These activities increase the concentration of greenhouse gases. This extra blanket traps even more heat, causing the Earth to warm up faster than it should. This rapid warming is not good for our planet. And that, my friends, is what we call global warming. It's a big challenge, but by understanding it, we can take steps to protect our planet. Let's talk about those fossil fuels we mentioned earlier, coal, oil, and gas. They're called fossil fuels because they formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals over millions of years. We use them to power our cars, heat our homes, and run our factories. However, burning fossil fuels releases those pesky greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. It's like adding extra layers to Earth's blanket making it trap too much heat. And just like wearing too many layers on a warm day makes you sweaty and uncomfortable, too many greenhouse gases in the atmosphere make Earth hotter, 
But that's not all. Cutting down trees, which we call deforestation, also contributes to climate change. Trees are like superheroes for our planet. They absorb carbon dioxide from the air and help clean up the atmosphere. When we cut down too many trees, we remove these natural air purifiers, leaving more carbon dioxide to trap heat. Now that we know how we're thickening Earth's blanket, let's see what's happening because of it. One of the biggest impacts of climate change is the melting of ice. You know how ice melts on a hot day? Well, as Earth gets warmer, the ice in glaciers and ice caps starts to melt at a faster rate. This melting ice flows into the ocean, causing sea levels to rise. Imagine filling a bathtub with water and then adding more water to it. The water level in the tub will rise, right? That's what's happening to our oceans as the ice melts. Rising sea levels can cause big problems for people and animals living in coastal areas. It's like the ocean is slowly creeping closer to their homes. Section 5. Rising Tides and Wild Weather. More Impacts of Climate Change. Besides melting ice and rising sea levels, climate change is also causing more extreme weather events. Remember those puzzle pieces we talked about? Well, as they shift and change, they can make weather patterns go haywire. Think about it. A warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture, leading to heavier rainfall and increased flooding in some areas. On the other hand, some places might experience longer and more severe droughts, making it difficult to grow crops and find enough water. Climate change can also make storms stronger. Warmer ocean water acts like fuel for hurricanes, making them more powerful and destructive. Section 6. Climate change and us. How does it affect our lives? You might be wondering, how does climate change affect me? Well, even though we might not see it every day, climate change impacts many things we need and enjoy. Remember how climate change affects the weather? Well, those changes can make it harder to grow the food we eat. For example, extreme heat and droughts can damage crops, leading to less food production. Climate change also affects the availability of clean water. Rising sea levels can contaminate freshwater sources, making it unsafe to drink. And in areas experiencing more droughts, water shortages can become a big problem. Our health can also be affected by climate change. Extreme heat can lead to heat stroke, and air pollution from burning fossil fuels can cause respiratory problems. Section 7. Be a Climate Hero. Actions we can take to help. Climate change might seem like a big and scary problem, but the good news is that we can all be part of the solution. Even small actions can make a difference when we all work together. It's like putting together a giant puzzle. Every piece counts. One of the easiest ways to fight climate change is to save energy. Remember those fossil fuels that release harmful greenhouse gases? By using less energy, we can reduce the amount of fossil fuels we burn. How can you save energy? Turn off the lights when you leave a room, unplug electronics when you're not using them, and ask your parents if you can switch to energy efficient light bulbs. Another way to be a climate hero is to choose eco-friendly transportation options. Instead of driving everywhere, try walking, biking, carpooling, or taking public transport whenever possible. Section 8. Our planet, our future. Spreading the word and making a difference. We've learned a lot about climate change today, haven't we? It's a topic that affects every single one of us, no matter where we live or how old we are. We've explored what it is, what causes it, and how it impacts our planet and our lives. From melting ice caps to polluted air, the effects are all around us. But knowledge is only powerful when we share it. When we talk about what we've learned, we can inspire others to take action too. You can be a climate champion by talking to your friends and family about what you've learned. Share your knowledge and passion with those around you. Tell them why it's important to care about climate change. 
and what we can do to make a difference. Simple actions like planting trees or reducing waste can have a huge impact. Remember, even small actions can have a big impact when we all work together. Every little bit helps, and together we can make a significant difference. By making changes in our own lives and inspiring others to do the same, we can create a healthier and happier planet for ourselves and future generations. Imagine a world where everyone makes eco-friendly choices. So, what are you waiting for? The time to act is now, and every action counts. Let's go out there and be the change we want to see in the world. Join rallies, create signs, and let your voice be heard. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to spread the word about climate change and inspire others to join the movement. Together we can make a real difference.